transitions in life, or some people may call them curveballs from God. You're either moving into a transition or out of one. We all experience them. Um, they're going to come. That's just reality. Uh, and so I remember it after our third daughter, we literally gave birth. I gave birth and we moved from Detroit to Minneapolis. Threw my world upside down. A wife, a mother, a new state, new campus, a ministry of 250. I didn't know where anything was. Uh, uh, women, uh, wives, you understand what it means that you gotta get doctors, you gotta find the schools and not being connected to the team because of trying to adapt and help the children to adjust. Get your home settled. Learn just the city and your surroundings. All of a sudden, I could barely function, it seemed like. I felt like I was numb. I didn't realize that I was numb, but someone shared with me that I was experiencing like five major changes, curves, transitions, and that no wonder there was a numbness. I was just in survival mode. And I remember that Dirk looked at me and he just said, have you prayed about it? And I thought, he had to throw that in. Did you pray about it? And so obviously I hadn't. And it took really saying, Lord, I need for you to intervene. Learning that my identity was not in discipling women and on the campus, that my identity was not being the right type of mother, that my identity was not anything unless it was recognizing my identity in the person of Jesus Christ. I'm an artist, and one of the things I did not like is when my husband or other people in the midst of me beginning to draw something, what's that? That doesn't look like that. And I'm saying, I'm in the process. I could see it in my head. But of course, someone outside could not see what was in my mind. And the Lord was showing me that, Lorna, just as you draw, that you are my workmanship. You are my masterpiece. From the time that you have come to know me, I am creating a masterpiece, putting together for my purposes and for my will. That was helpful because it began to help me to understand these curves and these transitions in life were God's way of uh, refining. And I thought in all this faithfulness, whether it was moving into marriage, moving into having children, walking and raising these little sinners <laughs> to be disciples for Christ in the future, and I still kept my hand in the ministry. These girls that were coming to know the Lord, they desired to be a mother. They desired to be a wife. I was realizing how God was giving me a chance to disciple them more than just the Word of God, more than just how to transfer the gospel to another, but how to live life, the life of Christ. And so I just encourage you that in the light of these transitions or curveballs that come uh, blindly a lot of times into our life, that we would not fear because God desires to continue that perfection process so that we can reflect more of the glory of Him. And just like my husband or my kids could not see the end result of the picture that I would be drawing. God sees the end picture for you. And so I encourage you, look to Him when you don't know where you're going because He is the light and knows where He wants to take you.